Hi everyone, welcome to Mills Family Gardening. I'm Dina, today is September 10th. We live in North Texas, Zone 8A. Our weather finally has cooled down and today is a perfect day to plant root vegetables. And here we have our in-ground bin that we worked on about a month ago. We put a lot of mushroom compost, uh, llama manure, a lot of other fertilizers uh, to amend the soil because our soil is heavy clay. So hopefully this will be good enough for all our root vegetables. We let everything sit in the ground for a month. We had some rain, so everything had time to blend together and break down better. And just now I put some bone meal into the ground, watered and mixed it a little bit with the soil. So we are ready to plant our root vegetables. So today I'm going to plant six root vegetables. I'm going to start with the row of onions here. Next to the onions I will have a row of radishes. The next row will be onions. Then I'm going to plant radishes again. And then we'll have a row of turnips, beets, and carrots. I've decided to put a row of radishes next to garlic and onions because radishes will be harvested about a month from today. And so that way, garlic and onions will have more room to grow after radishes are harvested. Now I'm going to plant Texas grano onion. They're supposed to be short day onions which are perfect for us who live in the south. The seeds are pretty small so I'm not going to plant them too deep. So I'll take about three four seeds and plant them in the hole like that. And by the way I already pre-made the rows as you can see. So I'm just going to follow along the lines of the rows and plant onion seeds about six inches apart. Next I'm going to plant some garlic and this is California soft neck garlic that I grew last year and we didn't have a good harvest because our winter and last fall were very dry and that's when we had our baby and I did not have time to water our backyard so we didn't have much harvest but we got some garlic so i'm going to separate the cloves i'm not going to plant the smallest ones i'm going to use the biggest cloves so i'm going to take a clove this is the side where the roots will come out and this is where the plant is going to come out so i'm going to plant it with the roots down i'm going to plant it pretty deeply just kind of push it into the ground and cover it with the soil and it will be just fine and I'm going to plant them about four inches apart. Again, the root side down and the plant side up. And just push it into the ground as deep as I can and cover it up. Now I'm going to plant cosmic purple carrots. I had a good experience with them in the past, so that's what I'm going to plant today. And since the seeds are very tiny, I'm going to sprinkle them into this row that I already made, just like that. And when they're going to come up, they will be very thickly planted. And I'll just have to thin them out as they grow. I normally don't cover carrot seeds because they're so small. I just go along the row and kind of push them very lightly into the soil so they would be in contact with the soil and that way they'll stay moist and germinate better and then I'll just water them and as I water then they'll be pushed into the ground a little more and that will help them get some light for germination and also stay moist. So now I'm going to plant beets, turnips and radishes and they all are planted the same way. These are beet seeds so I'll just take about three or four of them and put them in the hole like that and just push them into the ground a little bit and cover them up. So I'm going to plant them about six inches apart. This is for beets and turnips and then with radishes I'm going to plant them about two inches apart because radishes are smaller and they don't require as much space to grow well. It's always better to plant more seeds if you have a lot of seeds because birds and insects like to chew on little seedlings. So I prefer to plant more seeds per hole, probably about five or six seeds per hole. So in this row, I'm going to plant some green turnips. These are the seeds that my mom gave me a while ago and I've been growing them ever since. Again, about six inches apart, push them into the soil a little bit, about a quarter of an inch and then cover them up 
and just keep going like that. So the last seeds I'm going to plant is French dressing radishes. They grow pretty fast. And like I said earlier, I'm going to plant them about a quarter inch deep and about two inches apart. And they usually grow pretty fast. So hopefully we'll harvest them in about a month. And then just cover them up with the soil like that. Not too deep. So I'm done with planting, now I'm going to water. There is one thing I wanted to mention about watering carrot seeds. Since they're tiny, just water them quickly with a gentle pressure and don't create puddles so the seeds would not be washed away. Today is October 30th and our root vegetable bed is looking great. It did have some challenges on the way, like for example, after I planted the seeds and the seedlings came up, we went on a trip and we were away for two days and we had an extreme hot weather and so some of the seedlings died. And also one of the critters came at night and decided to just pull out some of the seedlings and vegetables and scattered all the seeds around. So I had to replant some seeds so gardening can have some difficulties and challenges. Nevertheless, we do have some seedlings and actually roots that already formed. Like for example, we have tiny seedlings of our onions right here. They're still small and they're probably not strong enough to withstand hard freeze. So I'll have to cover them with some old sheet whenever we get really cold nights. The next row we have black radishes and some of them actually form some bulbs like this one for example and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out this one but the others aren't ready yet and this is our first time to grow these radishes so they do have black color on the outside I'm not sure what they look like on the inside but they look like they're ready to be harvested at least this one and we'll let the others grow and get bigger so we can harvest them the next row is our garlic and you can see that some of the garlic started coming up and again one of the critters um, pulled out some of the garlic cloves so I had to put them back into the ground and plant new ones that's why um, in some places there are two seedlings that are coming up but overall they're looking great and of course they're gonna stay here all winter and spring and we'll hopefully harvest them in the beginning of June of next year. The next row we have French breakfast radishes and these are ready to be harvested very soon after being planted so so you can see that they actually form some nice bulbs. They look plump and they're ready to be used in salads. So I'm gonna harvest another one. They look really good. They all are ready pretty much to be harvested. Okay, our next row is the row of carrots and you can see that some seedlings have grown. And again, one of the critters just scattered a lot of this carrot seeds and so we don't have as many left. But whatever we have left, they look good, strong. And again, they'll stay here through the winter and spring and we'll probably ha harvest them closer to June of next year. Next to the carrots, we have a row of beets and some of the seedlings look pretty big and strong and again, I had to replant some seeds because they were disrupted or died from extreme heat. But the ones that are in the ground, they look good and they're gonna stay here through the winter and hopefully we'll harvest them next spring. And next to the beets, we have our green radishes and they're still growing. They're not really ready to be harvested, even though I do see that some of them are starting to form little bulbs, but they're not ready to be harvested at all. So we're just gonna keep them in the ground they're gonna stay here through the winter and spring and we'll harvest them next spring. So root vegetables are very easy to grow. They can grow through the winter depending on the climate and that's about all for now and we'll see y'all in our next video. Bye bye!